Dunn's fashion goes to school. Vendors in downtown Kingston say that they have been seeing brisk sales of Dunn's branded school bags. A student was spotted on social media wearing the bag and after making queries, Irie News Media TV found that it is a product of a local company which bases its products on slang. The red bag with black writing boldly accentuated the word dunce in white letters at the center. The news team learned that the bag goes for US $74, approximately 11,400 Jamaican dollars. The bag is currently sold out on the company's website noting that the bags are in high demand. Vendors also said they had designer brand bags to which their suppliers added the dunce artwork. Those may cost up to $20,000. The term dunce has been on the tongues of many Jamaican students since breakout dancehall artiste Valiant said he was back of the class. The lyrics of his single dunce check received plenty of criticism from persons, including the de facto information minister Robert Morgan, who opined that they sent negative messages to the youth. Stuart Jacobs, president for the National Parent Teacher Association of Jamaica, expressed dismay when told about the dunce bags. I think it's a derogation of our society as it is now when a child who is not performing to the best of his abilities or has not matriculated to the standards of the education system is usually described as a dunce. Because of the hype surrounding a particular song from a genre, it has now imposed itself on sectors of society who are now seeing it as something they should emulate or to put on a pedestal. It is a very sad state and it is very irresponsible of any parent who would give a child to put their books in it and label it as dunce, Jacob said. I hope that the school system will sanction the wearing of these bags as the children come through the gate, because it's not sending the right message. What it is saying is that it is okay to edify, emulate and big up non-performance. That is what it is, a dunce is a non-performer, he added. He said that despite the common response that the term is just freedom of expression, a responsible parent wouldn't taint their child as a non-performer. You must chart your path in life, and that means you must practice things that resonate with your personality and character, If you are a good performing student why would you want to have a dunce on your back? Why go the total opposite? That would mean that there is a social deficiency, Jacob stated. One vendor highlighted that although he is out of stock and will continue to sell the bags, he wouldn't buy it for his child. Me believe in God and the Bible tell you that there is power in the tongue, so when my youth wear one bag and as somebody see him in it, and them say dunce dunce, it's like a that them a speak over him life, the vendor said while his fellow vendor agreed. Irie News Media TV reached out to the entity that makes the logo, that individuals with whom we spoke said the company head was not available to give a cop. Police probing multi-million dollar racket at Falmouth Transport Authority pound. Falmouth Trelawney, the transport authority has called in the police to commence a probe of a multi-million dollar racket involving the theft of vehicle parts, including engines, at the pound in Falmouth, Trelawney. The police have been advised. We have asked the police to do a thorough investigation and the police are currently treating the investigation with respect to the affected vehicles, Managing Director of the Transport Authority Ralston Smith told the Irie News Media. The pound is located in proximity to the Falmouth Police Station. According to Smith, the irregularities were discovered during an audit at the pound after the security firm was recently replaced at the facility. We made the discovery just after the change of the security arrangement. All our pounds are covered 24 hours island-wide by security firms and we discovered, subsequent from changing from one security firm to another, that a number of vehicles, our pound facility, engines among other parts, went missing, Smith said. Subsequent to that, we had our auditors conduct an audit of the vehicles at the pound, he added. The Transport Authority, as a reputable organization, ensures that it employs security companies for all of the locations and a part of the security contract is that the security company is responsible for the safekeeping of those vehicles whilst in their custody. A senior member of staff at the Falmouth Police Station confirmed that the police received a report of the racket and a probe is expected to be launched. Meanwhile, Smith told the Irie News Media TV that parts are missing from 70% of the over 30 vehicles impounded at the facility. The Transport Authority will now review the security at all of the pounds they operate across the island.